Hey, what's up? What's up, y'all? Hope y'all been staying sucker free, okay? Y'all already know April 27th is Third Eye Activation Healing Ceremony in St. Anne Parish, Jamaica. Make sure y'all tune into that on the community tab. It's on the community board, okay? Um, and also, you can click the link to my Instagram so you can see people's past reviews on the healing ceremonies. All right. So you can get an idea of how it goes and things like that. And also, you can see underneath the flyer how to book your space. And if you have any questions, you already know to email me, suckerfreevibes at gmo.com for any further questions. Ask me whatever. Okay, and if you want to book your personal reading with me, suckerfreevibes at gmail.com. Or you can DM me on my Instagram. Okay. So make sure y'all check that out. And also, for any donations to the channel, to keep the channel running. And to just be, you know... To show your lovely um, appreciation, all of that is in the description box below. All the links are in the description box below. Okay, y'all, so listen. I had a beautiful day outside today. I was I went to the beach, um, you know. Uh, the taxi, the first taxi cab drive, first of all, a lot of, a lot of people treat, you know, it's it's good and bad people. You're going to come across the um, sweet and the sour people in the world. Okay? And that's just life. No matter where you are. Okay? So, the first taxi driver, he was real cool. And he was talking to me about, like, you know, he was like, Oh, are you single? Like, you left your, uh, you left your boyfriend in America? Stuff like that. And I was like, no, I didn't leave my boyfriend in America. I've been single for four or five years. It's going on five years. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I have. I don't consider them stupid ass, short term ass um, situationships, relationships. They were not. Okay. So I was just telling him that. He was like, oh, well, I hope you find somebody. Da, da, da. I would take you on a date, but you know, I don't want to be inappropriate. And I said, oh, are you married? And he was like, yeah. Like, he just sounds so depressed and miserable. And I'm like, damn, I hope. Whenever I do get married, if it, you know, whenever that happens, I hope my husband ain't out here um, saying no dry ass, yeah, like that behind my damn back. Like, as if he miserable in the fuck with what we got going on. <laughs> I was like, that's sad how many people are married and like that. So then I was like, that's why people should live their life. Live your life to the fullest and do things that you, everything that you want to do. Do it, and then when you get, um, you know, when you get married, you want, you know, at the time that you're ready to get married, you're going to want to know that you're ready to get married, because you already did all the things that you cannot do in a marriage, and you, you know, you done worn it out, and you're tired of it, and you're ready to settle down, but some people, they get married, and they didn't even, and they marry somebody that doesn't let them experience a life, even if it has nothing to do with cheating or infidelity. Some people marry people that control them, every aspect of their life, and they want them to be what they want them to be. So they don't really get to be themselves through their marriage and live their life. Some of y'all are worried about that. That's why y'all, um, some of y'all got even proposed before or things that are close to that and you just didn't want to do it because you were afraid that it was going to kill your liberty and shit like that. All you got to do is be with somebody, even if, and, um... You can still be in a marriage and still fulfill certain things and have fun in life. You don't have to do with fucking around and, and being and, um, doing things that you shouldn't do while you're married. And if that's the case, don't get married yet until you're ready. But anyway, I was just like, damn, that's sad the amount of people that's out here. They really marry for just financial reasons or have somewhere to live, not even really in love, stuff like that. But anyway, we will keep going. So... Then I had a nice, beautiful day. Then on the way back, the taxi cab driver that I got um, in a taxi with, first of all, he was rude as fuck because, and let me tell you, the projection be so real with nasty-minded people. Since he, did it, first of all, if you, would, and this is your route, this is your route, whatever, and it's right up the street, you do this shit every fucking day. Every time I tell the taxi, I tell them the neighborhood I live in, and I tell them the it's this, it's this little thing you say. It's like whatever, right? It's something right. I ain't even saying where I live, but so I always say where I live, and I say the little corner that I, that you drop me off at, right? 
Every single every single taxi driver knows that. Because when I say it, they take me right the fuck there. So since he didn't know where the fuck it was at, or he forgot where the fuck it was at, he went the wrong way and then going to make it seem like I'm the fucking problem and I'm bothering and holding up him dropping off other people. He talking about some late. So when he when he pulled up at this other place, first of all, it was on some back road, like on the side, and I was like, no, that's not it. So he gonna say, lady, I don't got time to play no games. I don't have time to fool around and play games with you. And I'm in my head like, you bitch ass nigga, I wanna get home just as much as you wanna fucking get home. Like, ain't nobody playing fucking games. So I just was like, you know, nobody's playing games. I say the same exact thing to every taxi driver, and they take me right the fuck there. And that's all I said. And then I'm in my head like. <laughs> Motherfucker, you just upset because you forgot for a fucking second. And now you trying to project on me as if I'm playing games with you. When really you just don't know where the fuck you going. Like, but if I say that, you know, motherfuckers won't beat you or some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want to get even more disrespectful when you respond. So, all I said was, sir, every time I tell the taxi driver the same exact location, they take me right there with no problem. It'd be a few little turns, and I'm there. And that's what I said to him. So, he, right after I said that, he took me right the fuck there. Just say you forgot. And, and, and it could have been a lighthearted moment, like, oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, right here. You get what I'm saying? But he decided to project and make it seem like I'm playing games, and I don't know where I'm at, all because he fucking forgot. People are nasty minded, bro. So then when I was paying him, he was like, it's 200, not 150. And I had all these bags in my hand, so I had to put my bags down to get it out my out my bag, out my purse, out my little wallet. So he see, and he, he like, you heard me, I said that. And I'm like, I heard you. Like, motherfucker, I ain't got but two hands. You see him holding bags in two hands. I got to put the shit down to give it to you. So he handed me back the 50, and I gave him the 100, but I, like, pushed it in his hand a little bit. Like, fuck you. But after that, I felt so fucking bad. And I should not feel bad for fucking being um, rude to motherfuckers that need a fucking little rude awakening. I don't give a fuck. You know, I don't care. And it's not even that I feel bad for them. I be feeling bad for myself because I be in my head like, don't you fucking stoop low to that level all because they moving out of that fucking energy. I don't give a fuck how they feel. Especially after they were being fucking nasty to me. I just be feeling bad because it's like I feel like I'm going back on agreements that I already agreed with myself. You get what I'm saying? So it's a lot of low vibrational ass motherfuckers out here that's projecting stuff. And they see they see when you, people be seeing when you like full of abundance or full, full of a, a nice aura. You get what I'm saying? So they gonna always forever, forever try to project stuff on you. And some people, they don't like that. They don't like um, when they see the power of your presence. People know who the fuck you are and how you are as soon as they um, see your energy and be around you. Whether they want to misinterpret or misjudge or not, that's personal. Because they really judge you off how the fuck they feel about themselves. And that's just really what the fuck it is. So, I just wanted to get up in here and say that to y'all. Because it's a lot of people that's going to be trying to come up against you. A lot of these um, wicked ass energies, they're going to want to try to project and attack your energy. All because of how they feeling within their fucking self. And just from that experience right there on the way back here, I was like, let me jump up on here. Because I was going to wait till tomorrow. But I was like, let me jump up on here tonight because... um. People need to know this message because a lot of you, it's, it's deep for real. It's a lot of people out here, they wicked and they nasty minded and they do a lot of projection all because they're hurt from and, and bitter from the way their parents treated them and how they came up and how they was raised. Um, and then it's people like, uh, like, you know, the collective, the chosen ones that have been through that, been through parents that treated them poorly or, or treated them fucked up and came up in a, in a certain way but we tur we we decided to transform that transmute it and turn it into light and heal from it so we know how to go about life and keep being blessed and receive our abundance and be open to receiving our blessings you get what i'm saying so with some people out here that don't know how to do that and since they don't care to do that they want to make people feel how they feel and let me tell you a lot of the collective, y'all come from families and, and parents that have done y'all like that or just people 
like even if your parents do like that, you went through certain things like through love and just uh, friendships and stuff like that, and certain family members that treated you low and treated you fucked up and made you feel or or um, emotionally manipulated you because that's how it is when you're young. When you're young, growing up, when you got parents that that kind of do you bad or don't know don't know no better because they still suffering from what their parents put them through. They're going to always make you feel like you're not enough. They're going to always make you feel like you got to prove yourself to them. They're going to always make you feel like um, you can't express your true emotions. They want to shut you down. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So some people, as they get older, as they grow through life, as they um, supposedly get more wiser, instead of them learning from experiences and be like, this is not how I want my future to be. I want to speak up for myself. I want I want to love my kids when I have kids. Or I just want to free myself from certain things so I can treat people better and I can know what to accept from other people. Because a lot of people, come on now, because the light just got brighter shit in here. A lot of people that don't know how to treat others and that walk around real bitter and be treating people all fucked up they don't tell you that um they might they might be all big and bad and be rude and disrespectful and nasty minded to you but they ain't telling you that they also putting up with that too people that be nasty minded they be with people that be nasty minded toward them too that's what they settle for to keep the cycle going because that's what they used to come on now so they be just as weak they try to make you they try to project on you the whole time they weak as hell they the weakest link so that's what i wanted to get up on here and talk to y'all about for real we um we done been through that and we um of course when we come from family and people that have um hurt and betrayed us in the past and because they see our power and they see our light and our aura and what it screams they want to dim it. They want to dim our light. They want to make us feel low, and they want to project. So we grow up feeling like we can't express ourselves. We have to emotionally be closed off or, or um, you know, they just want to make you feel low. So we, we, we kind of grow into these beautiful souls that are very fragile and that are very sensitive. So protect your energy and protect your light. Because people going to judge you um, by how you look, right? But it's really they judging themselves because they or what they're doing is projecting. Because they feel your strong-ass energy. They feel your aura and your presence. But they don't want to say that they intimidate or they don't want to say, um, you know, yeah, like I, like I was saying before, things that people don't understand, all they're going to do is judge, talk down on, and try to cast out. So you got to protect your energy from that. So the fact that he was like, it's, it's 200, not 150. You get what I'm saying? And I gave him the 100 and I like pushed it in his hand a little bit. After that, I felt so bad because I felt like I was lowering my fucking vibration just to match his. It, it, I didn't give a fuck about how he felt about that shit. Because he probably used to it. He probably didn't care. He probably liked it. Because people that's like that, they like toxic ass shit. Okay, 13.33 on the time when I say that. Like, people like that type of stuff. Anyway, for a lot of y'all, y'all got love coming in. And you're going to be, um, you need to open up your heart. You need to open up your heart. Because a lot of y'all been real guarded. You get what I'm saying? Or y'all could be in a love situation right now that's helping you, um, get out of that type of energy. Or some of y'all, y'all just ready to get out of that type of energy. For a lot of for a lot of you, you could be fixed signs: Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Leo, and Taurus. You don't have to be. Some of you could be Gemini's, Libras, and Capricorns too. What other signs are stubborn? Aries could be stubborn too. Anyway, so. Yeah, I'm here to tell y'all, um, for some of you, y'all are of the light, but y'all still need to work on y'all anger a little bit more. You let people anger you too fast. Don't let people do that to you. All because they doing all because they doing they um famous projection ass bull projection ass bullshit. You get what I'm saying? Anyway. So we're gonna get into the tarot because 
I wanted to um, talk about that because I had to, I got in the shower and all that stuff. I washed off and all that stuff because I was just like, no, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I lowered myself to that. Even if it was just that little split second, I just wanted to cleanse my damn energy. Because I was just like, people really be nasty, boy, and they want you to feel just like them. The Page of Pentacles keep coming out. And then you got the Ten of Wands in reverse. So a lot of things are changing in your life right now as far as things getting easier for you. And things, um, and the, the, the main reason why they're getting easier is because you're being more patient with life itself. And a lot of you are realizing that you had to start over in some type of way. Especially especially when it comes to healing from things you've been through in your childhood. A lot of you was trying to wonder a lot of, not trying to wonder. A lot of you were wondering why something wasn't coming in fast enough, but you had to realize in order for you to even obtain certain things, you have to get your spirit right to even um, to to feel free and not burden in some type of way. Because y'all could have been thinking negative, like, oh, all this stuff keep happening to me. Why this? Why that? When is that? I don't know why I'm huh, huh, um, all that complaining. But you ain't realizing the patience that comes with just surrendering and going with the flow. And part of surrendering is going with the, and going with the flow is you having to heal and understand certain aspects of yourself and have acceptance and seeing through certain situations and realizing and accepting why you put up with certain things in the first place because you had to heal um, the root of the issue. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. With the temperance card here, you had to, root, you had to heal the root of the issue and get on top of that confidently. The temperance card is, is a very balanced energy here. And then you got the eight of swords in reverse. So you could also had you also had to um you had to reprogram your mind. Let go of them um toxic mind that toxic ass mindset, that lack of mentality, so you can even get to the state of bliss and feeling like you being free in some type of way or freeing yourself up or, or getting stuff off your back. And people don't like when you're in that energy. And then you also got somebody um, that's real bitter, real stuck in their head right now because you got your back turns toward them. Mm -hmm. You could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. You could have been dealing with one of those signs. It could be your sign, however it go. Somebody don't like the fact that you no longer dealing with them no more and that you ghosted them in some type of way. That's been in the collective energy. Y'all could have been meeting. Some of y'all, y'all single. Y'all could have been just dating the same type of energies back to back in different bodies. And then when you cut them off, they try to act like, um, what's going on? I don't know. Why would you do this? Why you don't want to talk to me no more? Because you know what you did. These people be knowing what they what they be doing. Now, now all of a sudden they want to send negative energy your way and try to be communicating with you in a dream state and um and um um trying to send you telepathic messages and shit like that because they don't know how to speak up and they don't know how to apologize. For real, yeah. With this page of swords and so now all they could do is watch you and think negative because that's all they're going to be doing while you releasing burdens and going after new things and um accepting new opportunities and balancing your life out and releasing yourself um from from people that try to keep you stuck and bound to them all because they still stuck and bound from things from their childhood that's why that's why people want to control manipulate and keep you stuck and bound to them Especially when it comes to these relationships, because they want they they want you to feel how they feeling. They want to place all their inner demons on you and don't want to heal it. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. 
And then somebody also gonna come back around trying to convince you that they changed in some type of way. Or be like, oh, you know you belong to me. We belong together. All this other type of stuff. But you no longer, yeah, you protecting your energy from that. And you no longer dealing with it. Especially when it comes to, like, some family members that are, like, um, in feminine, some type, some type of, um... It could be like two women in your family or something like that. Or two people, two people that's not in their divine energy. You get what I'm saying? And not that we, because some people, they not operating in their divine energy, but they still good people. And then you got the ones that you need to protect your energy from because they try to make it seem like there's a little bit of time go by. They can convince you that they in their divine energy just to get back up in your energy to put you back in this type of state. So don't let people come in and manipulate you in some type of way. Some of y'all, y'all just protecting yourself from people that are broken emotionally, physically, all of that. People that don't got nothing um, to offer you in no type of way because you have stuff to offer. And people who want to be emotionally unavailable to you. Like y'all protecting y'all energy from them type of people because you know what come with stress. People that want to be in and out, on and off, all that type of stuff. You're not entertaining that type of energy no more. You're not. You got the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, the the Hermit in reverse, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. So some of y'all, y'all could have found out something about somebody, and that's why you're protecting your energy from them. You don't want to be tied to people that got all these other energies tied to them that they're trying to keep tied to them. Especially in they in low vibration and all that stuff. People want you to be people want you to be in, in these open relationships unknowingly and shit. Then the type of people you not dealing with no more either. All cause they don't wanna look, I told you you ain't dealing with them no more with the judgment card. All because they don't know and they confuse and they don't know what they wanna do with this moon card and the three of cups here. They confused and they don't know what they want to do, which way to go. So they want to keep you in a state of confusion and shit. But you know exactly what you're going to do here. And some of y'all, y'all just going to get to the money. And that's just what it is with the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all, y'all, y'all focused on two, 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 one, two, 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 one time when I'm saying that. Y'all focused on creating um, wealth for yourself that's going to last lifetimes, even when you're not here. And some of y'all, y'all, y'all on that mission in life and y'all want to be with somebody that's on that mission in life. And y'all can see right through the fakers. You hear what I'm saying? You ain't got time for people to be faking with you, giving you these um, um, fake-ass emotional offers. The whole time they can't let go of their past and, and the people that they trying to keep tied to them. I'm telling you, bro. And some of y'all... Y'all y'all played something right. I'm telling you, with this justice card in the middle, the nine of wands and the full card in reverse, you let people think certain things about you because you know what's going to happen in the end. Some of y'all, y'all already knew a situation that, that I'm talking about. Like, as far as, like, somebody trying to um, juggle you, um, be between you and other people, and you played it exactly how, how you need to play it until you got up out of there or something like that. Especially if you in if you in school for something like as far as work or if you got some type of crooked ass boss and stuff like that, some of y'all some confirmation. Some of y'all y'all wanna quit y'all job, but y'all but y'all know that you have to do something like the next month after these act after um going towards the end of March, going into April, cause you know March is the new real new um real New Year. Y'all ending that. And y'all gonna come into some type of abundance on y'all own in some type of way. And it's gonna make y'all real successful. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. People want you to lower your defenses. I'm telling you. People want you to lower your defenses. And not that you out here acting all crazy, see now, and paranoid. They just want you to lower your defenses so they could come in and sell you these type of dreams and these illusions with the moon card in reverse, the seven of cups, the knight of cups, and the six of pentacles. Yeah. And for, um, for, for y'all that's leaving a job, y'all waiting until something else come in for you. Y'all want to get a few calls this next these next seven days coming up. Y'all about to get a few calls. 
seven to eight days and y'all gonna have a like at least two to three options of a job to choose and then you gonna ghost this damn job y'all ain't even gonna put this job on y'all like resume or nothing like that or if this has to do um with a specific group of people or just a person and if this was a person they real they real mad that you played the way you played until you got up out of there Somebody wanted somebody wanted to do something before you, hurt you before you hurt them. But the whole time, they already did the hurting. And all you did was go with the flow and, and lead and left their ass. It wasn't no game. And that's the thing about people. So then they feel, they feel defeated the whole time. You was never playing a game um, to begin with. They played they self. No matter if this is a person, family, a corporation you was working for, they played they self. Man, I'm telling you, some of y'all about to move forward in such a way, and y'all gonna be um be more at peace and making y'all own money, and it's gonna be a little crazy, not crazy, but it's gonna it's gonna involve a lot of changes that you wasn't ready for, but it's gonna happen fast. Anyways, I'm not trying to be on here too long tonight. Yeah, I told you, it's gonna bring in a lot of wealth. I'm telling you. Because you manifested this. The, the, come on now. The divine been seeing this for y'all. Yeah, confirmation. The divine set this up for y'all. Y'all got the Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles, the Sun card, and the Magician. And if this got to do with love, you're going to meet somebody that want to be long-term with you, build a family with you. And they're going to help you out throughout life. Y'all going to be helping each other throughout life. But this going to be like more like a person that want to provide, especially if you are feminine energy. But if you are masculine energy, you're going to be with somebody that's not going to fucking make life so hard. Because love is not hard in the first place. All right. So I love y'all. I hope y'all stay sucker free. And y'all already know, April 27th is um, the third activation healing ceremony in St. Anne Parish, Jamaica, baby. Make sure y'all go on the community board so y'all can see more um, and what's on the flyer and how to book your space. Because I got a few spaces left. And also click on the Instagram link if you need to dive deeper into it and see reviews and things like that. Book your personal reading, suckerfreevibes at gmail.com, or click the Instagram link for donations to the channel. All of that is in the description box below. I love y'all.